uh, you've probably been hearing chatter already about, oh man, there's, there's supposed to be some big things happening like Thanksgiving week or right after Thanksgiving in the beginning of December, like a big, huge plunge of cold air and winter weather and, and oh my gosh, it's gonna be crazy. And what we often deal with this time of year in particular, the polar vortex. When you hear that term polar vortex, you might think, like, oh, that sounds totally made up. Well, here's the thing. The polar vortex has always existed. Now, it's just, was it a term that was discussed as much in the past? No. The long and short of what it is, is it is uh, a strong area of low pressure at, at the poles. By the way, it's always present. It's not just something that is there in the wintertime. It's always present. It's just generally weaker in the, in the summer, stronger in the winter. It can be disrupted, for lack of a better word, where some portion of the jet stream flow weakens and it starts diving south and sends more cold air away. What you're seeing there, I've got the clock stopped here, is that that showing, you know, kind of a bigger plunge of cold air that'd be right around December 1st. That is a long ways out. This has already changed numerous times in the long range forecast data about when this could happen or if it gets held to the north, the brunt of the cold air that is. There have been enough signs in that long range data to suggest that eventually this kind of thing is going to happen, whether it's right after Thanksgiving or the beginning first week of December, 